Hey guys, welcome back to Fairy Wisdom. I am here to help you create a happy, healthy, and wealthy life. Uh, thank you so much for being here, for all the likes, shares, and subscribes, everyone booking personal readings, um, the uh, spiritual advising sessions, or life coaching, or whatever you want to call it. I need, I need to put my own spin on that, I don't know. Um, but anyways, <laughs> And also everyone sending in donations. I'm very grateful for every single one of you. Um, so I'm feeling guided. Let's talk about some past lives. I don't know. We'll find out. So um, we will uh, choose from here. And then I've got like three tarot decks. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. So um, we're just going to dive right in here. Three piles, please. Three piles, please. Talk about past lives. Three piles for past lives. Well, there's two. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have um, the Age of Light is going to be Pile 1, this one right here. Pile 2 is going to be um, Imrama. And then Pile 3 is going to be the Warrior Woman over here, okay? something about Egyptian Egyptian something or other I don't know we'll see I started a new post-it note <laughs> pile one if you chose the age of light okay so this card says whoa I didn't even realize this when I was Hearing something about Egyptian, look how Egyptian this person looks. <laughs> that makes total sense, okay? It says, you have been training for this for lifetimes, okay? So let's just, I have no idea what kind of messages are going to come out here, okay? I just was called to do a past life reading. I don't know. Um, I usually don't, don't tap into past lives. Um, because it is not my specialty. My specialty is this life. <laughs> but maybe we're finding a new specialty. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm really drawn to uh, the triangle here, okay? Like the um, sacred geometry, okay? Um, some of you guys could have been like, uh, like definitely I'm hearing a pharaoh, but also um, somebody that would like decode uh, sacred geometry, okay? Um, some of you helped build the pyramids, I'm hearing, also. Um, yeah, wow, that's interesting. Builders, definitely some sort of builders, some sort of... I'm hearing something about the 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 scarab, the the Egyptian beetle. Okay, I know that. Like, anyway, that doesn't matter. Okay, uh, past life messages for pile one, please. Yeah, for sure. Some of you guys were, um, I'm hearing high up on the food chain in the Egyptian world, okay? <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, either you were a pharaoh or you were um, 
I don't know that they got married, but uh, like, you know, some sort of uh, Egyptian queen or goddess or um, Greek goddess, I'm also hearing. Okay, Isis. Um, very much, uh, in, in a lot of your past lives, uh, you were very uh, much like royalty of some sort, okay? Very high on the food chain, okay? Um, and in the financial brackets, okay? Um, but you, I I'm hearing pile one, in a lot of lifetimes, um, you um, were kind of like an outcast uh, in within this group of yours because you were so giving, okay? Uh, because you were so loving, you were so nurturing, and you really gave more to, I'm hearing, more to the peasants than what you should have, okay? Um, your time, your energy, um, blessings as well, um, uh, coinage, coinage, uh, gold, I don't, I don't know, I think we're, we're calling in several different lifetimes here. Um, but yeah, there's this energy of being um, very much high on the food chain, but also very giving, very uh, selfless, okay? Um, and this kind of like made you stand out to, um, I'm hearing like the townspeople, okay? I feel like we're in a different time now. Um, but um, but people within the castle, okay, I'm hearing, um, didn't really like that, okay? Uh, there was definitely a time when um, you were watched very closely, okay? Um, you could have even been like persecuted for being so giving. Um, some of you could have um, fell in love with somebody who was... Um, not it not within the same uh, bracket uh, if that makes any sense uh, you know what I mean like somebody outside of uh, royalty I guess uh, is what I'm hearing um, and so um, I don't know you were watched very carefully you were watched very closely um, this was like a forbidden forbidden love a forbidden relationship um, Wow <laughs> let's get some more for pile one I feel like these are going to be pretty quick I think these are just like little snapshots of past life just to kind of give you an idea of you know and I feel like you probably are going to resonate with this somehow um, I feel like you were very controlled by your father um, in a lot of past lives here yeah um, for some of you, uh, you dated outside of your race here, okay? And this was a big no-no at that time, okay? Um, trust me, I am far from um, any type of, I don't see color, okay? I don't see language, I don't see any of that. We are all infinite beings here having a simple human experience and I believe that uh, race is actually uh, formed and made based on the environment okay so it means nothing to me but this is the message that I'm com that's coming through for me okay um, yeah this person that you were like banned from okay that was not allowed you're not allowed to be with all right um, they they I think they were more they, I'm hearing like an artist or something they just they were not in, within the same um, like I'm hearing like category as you like tax bracket like if we're bringing it back forward to like make it resonate or relevant for you to where you understand like you know this person was an artist this person could have been a writer I'm hearing poetry um, you know but the, uh, basically your I feel like your father had other plans okay and this has happened to you several different times several different lifetimes um, and it's a matter of, I feel like this lifetime, you're breaking free from this energy of being controlled um, by, uh, you know, um, by your father, maybe. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see.
like breaking that cycle, okay? Um, I feel like in several lifetimes, uh, this person that you fell in love with was actually um, killed, okay? Um, by like guardsmen or, or something. It's like this energy of being caught uh, with you and, um, and, and killed. Wow, wow. So for some of you, I feel like the relevancy of this is like bringing forth, like if you're wondering like uh, the connection with your father or something, like, I don't know, um, or like your parents in general, okay? Uh, if you feel as though they're very judgmental or something of that nature, I feel like you're ending the cycle of allowing um, allowing their projections, allowing their judgments, allowing them to like have control over you in some in some way. Um, let's uh, messages about past life uh, for pile one, please. Yeah, again, we got the Queen of Cups here uh, two times. Okay, I feel like in this lifetime, um, you're breaking this cycle. You're breaking this curse, and this is a huge thing, okay? This is a huge thing for you, um, because I feel like also you had some sort of creativity here in the past, right? That's how you connected and fell in love with this person, um, was because you were inspired. This person inspired you, you inspired this person, and together you created, uh, for some of you, music and books and art and, and things of that nature. Of course, it was like hidden, um, right? Um, even though you were very closely watched, okay? Um, but this lifetime, you're really able to step into this and step out of that royalty, uh, you know, royalty role. Some of you, it may not even look like royalty, right? But if you have a, a you know, parents that kind of like put money above everything, put uh, stature and, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, position or, you know what I'm saying, above everything, um, <clears throat> then this is probably going to re resonate for you, right? Um, there's not a lot of royalty these days. It's just the energy, okay, of, um, you know, a, a judgmental parent, um, you know, projecting, you know, their work ethic or their, their ideals onto you, okay? Um, but this lifetime, I do feel like you, you either are currently or you have broken this cycle okay and that's kind of what's allowing this new beginning to kind of come in for you okay um and and you're and you're uh, you know creating new new trends new settings um you know you're releasing all the judgment releasing all the fear um uh and allowing you know generations to come to kind of um be who they are, be who they want to be. Okay. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I, I feel like there's big reward for that <laughs> from the universe. So I, I don't know if it's like story time. I don't know. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Uh, <laughs> comments are great. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, that's been your past life reading, pile one. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. <laughs> okay. Um, pile two. If you chose the Imrama card, okay. Um, I kind of want to just like take a minute and clear the energy out um, here from pile one. It seemed like story time, but kind of like letting you know, like pile one was like kind of, and you know, enlightening us on the cycles that are being broken and, and things of that nature. So I don't know. We'll see what happens for you, pile two. I'm just kind of following the lead here. Okay. I'm following, I'm following the lead. So, um, I, I feel like you've been here for a very long time. Okay, you, like you have been, uh, you've come to this earth for a very long time. Okay, and I, I feel like um, 
there's a lot of wisdom within you, okay? Um, that's kind of like awakening right now. Um, but there's like this energy of like wanting, like your soul wanting you to um, kind of navigate and travel within this wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, ancient wisdom, like taking you way back, okay? Uh, like biblical times. <laughs> So some of you may be feeling guided to um, like dive into like the stories of the Bible. Now I'm not religious, okay, um, but I do feel that there is validity in the stories of the Bible and that um, they actually replay themselves within our lives. Um, and so I, if you're feeling guided to, um, to do that, uh, I think that you should. I feel like you can probably, you know, resonate with a lot of the stories and also apply it uh, to your life, right? Apply it where, um, you know, the people, right? Where With who they are in your life and kind of um, like map out your story, I guess. And, and you know, figure out who it is that you resonate with the Bible and kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. That's just, I, yeah, <laughs> that's just kind of the energy that I'm feeling. So if you're feeling guided to pull out a Bible, don't feel like it's because, you know what I mean? Like that you can't read the Bible because it will, you know what I'm saying? Confine you to those beliefs. I just, I think that there's stories there, right? They could totally resonate. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's get some past life uh, information for pile two, please. I don't work. If that wants to come back out, it will. I'm hearing like polygamy. Okay. Um, which was actually like very common during, during biblical times. information please yeah look in the three of cups at the bottom of the deck um, oh there's a lot here I'm just kind of pulling this energy here. Hmm. I feel like in a past life, um, I just heard the word like cult or, uh, you know, polygamy, or I feel like in a past life you were part of some sort of like a polygamous community. Um, and I'm hearing like, sister wives or something I don't mean to laugh but um and so I feel like during this lifetime it's kind of like shown itself to you in a lot of ways and like maybe you have found yourself connected to um a lot of people who kind of like go outside of the relationship right your idea is a monogamous relationship but then you find yourself with people who are very much um, you know, considered cheaters like these days. And so, and, and I think that, um, there's this energy of, you know, like you personally could have very well been, um, you know, the, the male within that, right? Okay. And there's this energy of kind of like breaking that karmic cycle this lifetime. Um, and, um, really stepping into a monogamous relationship, okay? Because, um, well, polygamy, I, I don't have any judgment against it. I just, I don't feel that there, it was justifiable. Um, I, I feel like there was some sort of injustice here, okay? Almost like, um,
Like there was a sense of like manipulation. So um, either you were the the leader of this or you um, you were manipulated into this and now you're like during this lifetime, it's like another test. It's like manifesting again and you're like having to break free of this. Okay, um, so for for all of you, it'll resonate differently. Um, but yeah, that's very interesting. Very interesting. But this lifetime, it's that those that karmic cycle, those karmic cycles, those karmic ties, that karmic the karma itself is ending. For you like you're breaking that cycle okay um, because you know I feel like this during biblical times this is what you could have been manipulated into and since then many lifetimes have gone by and you have not broken that cycle you see what I'm saying not to say that you were necessarily um, openly in a polygamous relationship in lifetime since, but that's how it's somehow manifested in your life, whether you were married to somebody who stepped out on the marriage a lot, or you, you see what I'm saying? Like it'll resonate for each of you differently. So don't, don't think that I'm saying that like each lifetime you were in some sort of like sister wife situation. Um, you know, but I feel like there's this idea of manipulation. Okay. Um, that you're breaking free from. Yeah. You're healing from this because I feel like in previous lifetimes it was like this idea that you had to have a man to be successful or if you had children and you were single, you just wouldn't make it. And, you know, and that's a belief that you know, whatever, but I feel like you're breaking this cycle for, for many women. Okay. Um, yeah. And you're kind of going off on your own here and, um, you know, whether you have children or not, it's just this idea of, you know, uh, you know, the rise in the power within women. Right. Um, and, and, and I'm not a feminist, but I'm just saying women have power. We have a power deep within us. That's actually, uh, very strong and and we don't have to be with somebody in order to be successful or to be happy or to have nice things you know what I'm saying so I feel like you are breaking this cycle and and you're kind of um, bringing some sort of inspiration here um, for a, a lot of women around you okay These are very interesting messages. I looked up and it was 2323. Past life messages for pile two, please. Yeah, it's like this energy of like you working and building an empire all on your own. Like stepping into the Queen of Pentacles all on your own, making your own empire, making your own legacy, okay? And just being in your power. That's very interesting. So if you're wondering... <laughs> There is some sort of <laughs> financial blessing that's coming in here for you, okay? To kind of help you uh, jumpstart on this legacy, okay? And that's because you broke this cycle. You broke this cycle. You ended this cycle. So <laughs> that's what I have for you, Wild too. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you next time. Pile three. If you chose the warrior woman, okay? This is your reading here. Hmm. 
So pile three, I feel like you've had to, you've, um, you know, always been a warrior, always been very strong, always been, um, you know, somebody that stands up for others, somebody that creates things that helps others, okay? Somebody who is very, um, you know, in many, many lifetimes, you know, I'm, you know, creating nonprofit organizations, uh, you know, uh, like being a woman standing next to a man fighting, you know, fighting a battle, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, you weren't, you've always had a masculine energy about you, is what I'm trying to say here, okay? Um, and many, many, many lifetimes. Let's get some past life messages for pile three, please. You never let uh, men control you, right? You were never one to uh, let a man tell you what to do, okay? <laughs> um, pass life messages for pile three, please. Yeah, you've always been like the king of the castle. Of your castle, you've always been the king of the castle, okay? Um, you've always been the one who, you know, juggles it all and makes it all happen all on your own, like every single lifetime, okay? Um, oh, snap. All those just fell straight on the floor. Like you have the strength of an ox, I just heard. <laughs> oh goodness. You've always formed some type of legacy on your own. Like, I mean, like you are like the warrior woman. You are the epitome of a strong woman that like is a huge example for many, many people, okay? Um, you've always taken action on your own you know what i'm saying like you have you have made it work all on your own like this this has happened for you for many many lifetimes and so there's this energy of um you know i feel like maybe because society does some stupid shit and makes us feel some type of way if you feel like you have um been kind of waiting for like permission or something of that nature understand that like for many lifetimes you've never needed permission and you've always done it all on your own i'm hearing something about being an explorer okay something about um uh, you know creating just creating things that help others all on your own every single time you're here okay um, you know what I mean? Like standing up for yourself and for others. This is this is what you have always represented, okay? And um, I feel like many lifetimes you've been a woman in your masculine energy. Pass side messages for Kyle three, please. Yeah, you have always like something about a sword, something about like some of you maybe were really good at sword fighting. Um, but like you've always, you know what I mean? Like you've never hid behind somebody else's sword, okay? Um, you have always like stood up for yourself and for others. I mean, that's just the, like the message that I'm getting. 
Um, and so there's a really significant reason that you're here this lifetime, right? With everything going on in the world, um, your energy is very much needed because it's important, you know, we need all of the people who have the strength to stand up for themselves and for others here right now um, to help kind of lead the way to keep us safe and, and, and protect us from, you know, the entities that are trying to keep us down, right? Um, and so there's this energy of it's, you know, I feel like you are now f like finally uh, feeling ready to, um, you know, break out the sword and stand up and, and get back to uh, being this warrior woman, right? Um, stepping into this energy, finding out what it is this lifetime that you're going to stand up and fight this battle for, right? Um, you know, I feel like you're kind of stepping into this energy and um, I think you're going to start working really hard to, to do this. Um, and, and you're going to be successful, okay? Uh, you're definitely going to be successful in this as always. You always are because your heart is in the right space. Um, you know, you're not doing it just for you and for the people immediately around you. You're doing it for, you know, the, uh, the common good of humanity. And um, it comes straight from your heart. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you are very strong. You have always been very strong. You've always had this soul um, that kind of inspires and ignites this warrior um, energy within others around you. You inspire people to stand up. You're also very beautiful, okay? Um, I, I don't know, that's just... But you're very, uh, there's, in a lot of lifetimes, you've been very well known, okay? For the action and the, and the things that you do, okay? For your passion for others, okay? For your passion for humanity. Um, so you've been very well known in a lot of different lifetimes for, uh, you know, what you stand for. There is, um, so while you're like, you know, getting organized on um, what it is that you are, um, you know, recognizing what it is that you're going to stand up for this lifetime, um, there's this gift from the universe coming in, okay, that's going to help you build this. This happens for you every single lifetime. You follow your heart and the universe and God matches your matches it and, and helps you grow this energy, okay? Helps you grow and helps you fight for others. Mm -hmm. You're very enlightened. You know exactly, I feel like you, I feel like you know this, right? Uh, because you just have this energy of like you just you know it's like you, it's just this knowing uh, that I'm here for a purpose I'm here to fight some sort of battle for myself and for others and uh, but you do it so gracefully and so beautifully and um, I feel like your team is kind of coming together here okay um, and uh, you know it, it's like right now it's a spiritual battle okay, that you're fighting and it's, you know, you're, you're going to, uh, it's going to manifest into uh, you helping, I, f I feel like, future generations, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo, all right, so that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Thank you so much for being here uh, for all the likes, shares, and subscribes, and we'll see you next time.